Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject is, Can Cats Metabolize Carbohydrates? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats evolved on a carnivorous diet, so most of their digestive enzymes are geared towards digesting protein rather than carbohydrates. However, cats can tolerate some forms of carbs better than others. Most cats can digest cooked starches, but not sucrose. So, why the fuss? Here are some of the potential issues that could arise if you feed your cat carbohydrates, especially on a routine basis. Let's start with the reduction of protein consumption. Dry cat food can be very carb heavy. This can lead to daily protein intake reduction if dry food is your cat's primary meal instead of a wet meat-based diet. Next, we have diarrhea, vomiting, bloating, and flagellants. Carbs can be difficult for a cat to properly digest, and this can lead to stomach irritation. Next up, potentially the cause of diabetes. Carb-rich cat food, if consumed over a lengthy period of time on a routine basis, can potentially increase the odds of your cat developing feline diabetes. And finally, obesity. Domestic house cats tend to eat more carbs than cats that live off the land. When you couple this with the fact that many house cats are not as active compared to that of wild felines, obesity can become an issue. Carbohydrates hold virtually no nutritional value for cats. The benefits are minimal at the most. Cats live on a high-protein diet. Animal meat is the pinnacle. While all cats consume carbs, even cats in the wild, they don't need them to thrive. Having said that, a small amount of carbs, the fiber found in beet pulp, for example, can help when it comes to digestion. However, this is certainly the exception and not the rule. While it's far too broad brush to say or even suggest that cats are unable to digest carbs, it is fair to say that their ability to digest carbs is far less effective compared to that of other animals. Felines just simply do not have the physical tools that are required for the healthy and proper digestion of carbs primarily the pancreatic functions required to break down carbs successfully. There is a big difference between being incapable and not efficient. Cats are capable of digesting carbs, but it's not without some level of consequence. The side effects of carbs often depend on the type of carbohydrate that is being consumed and the portion size. Some cats will naturally fare better than others. When it comes to the bad stuff, it's all about sucrose. Cats struggle to break it down properly, and the side effects could involve bloating, flagellants, lethargy, diarrhea, and dehydration. Thankfully, sucrose does not play a significant role in cat food to a substantial amount, so on that front, your cat should be just fine in terms of being able to avoid a severe reaction. Having said that, cats that overeat on foods that are meant for human consumption can encounter some real problems. Those food items are as follows, chocolate, sweet sauces, and some pastas, cake crumbs, and flavored drinks and beverages. All of these items should be avoided and never served to your pet. On the flip side, cats can tolerate starches a bit better. They are complex carbs, so they're digested in a different fashion compared to that of sugar, peas, lentils, corn, and brewer's rice are just a few examples of safe consumption items. By comparison, when they are cooked properly, these items have over a 90% digestibility rate. As always, just like anything else, moderation is the key. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. How to check the carb content of cat food, feline allergies and carbohydrates, and how to manage carbs in your cat's diet. These are just a few of the topics covered in our written material. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.